Um, I don't have any tricks. What I have is practice. And what I practice is meditation. Yeah. And it's not a trick. It's a serious practice. Um, when I say a serious practice, I mean serious with commitment. Um, and I am committed to it because I, I understand and respect it. And I also enjoy it. I think the greatest obstacle to happiness and peace is the misunderstanding that somehow we are different from one another. And that happens, that happens because, well, if you look outside yourself all the time, we are different, we look different. I mean, just on this call, None of us look alike. Our voices sound different. We dress differently. We probably like some of the same foods, but maybe care for some that others might not like. You could always find that which is apparently different. And I say apparently because that's what it is. But when we turn our gaze and our attention inside ourselves, when we allow our minds to settle in silence, we experience something else about ourselves. What we experience is that which is not identified or qualified by gender, by race, by orientation, cultural heritage, religious tradition, economic status, career development, academic achievement, or any of these things. And in experiencing that, what becomes obvious is, is that this is common to all people. This perception of otherness is also a great contributor to mental imbalance. Okay. <laughs>